I'm Mark. And this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today it's going to be an energy read. Um, so with a full uh, Celtic cross for you. So whoever's watching today, this reading is for you. Clear your mind and let's get into it. Okay, so this will be the energy read, full Celtic cross. And what I'm gonna do is use this classic tarot uh, for the read. And if I need clarifiers, I'm gonna use this heaven and earth tarot. So there we go. Put that one down here. These are cool. Color instruction booklet. Which is always a big and good and big print. That's always good. Cool place to keep the cards. This little string helps you get everybody out where they're supposed to be. And the cards are just a uh, rider weight, but with some interesting uh, interpretation by uh, Barbara Moore and illustrated by Eugene Smith. Um, and they're very clear, concise cards to use. I like them a lot. And, and the cardstock is great. I mean, it's real, you know, you don't have any problem, unless you're me, um, shuffling the cards and, and making it work for you. It's just slick it up and have just enough bite to them that uh, you can get a grip on the cards when you need to. So we'll see how this comes out for us today. Full Celtic Cross Energy Read for everybody who's watching. So the way this works is I'll just uh, hopefully have some connection to the collective consciousness and we'll get some energy into these cards and and uh, get some general messages out there for those of you who are interested. Get them shuffled up a little bit. So here in the uh, Pacific Northwest, it's been a really beautiful day, just enough uh, wet to make the roads kind of glisten a little bit and everything's blooming. There's colors like you would believe. And uh, the temperature is, gosh, in the high 60s, maybe 70-ish once in a while. Nice sunshine. Uh, it won't be that for long, but that's what it is right now. So, try to get a good connection to those of you who are looking right now. Get some information out here. It's going to be useful for this read. Okay. Find the cards and see what comes out. I'm going to need six for the beginning. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I don't know which way that one's going to go. I'm going to say it goes like that. Okay. These cards will wait till we need them. And right now, we want to see what can the cards tell us for this very moment in time for the folks who are watching. Signifier card for right now is the Wheel of Fortune. Well, of course it is. It's a crapshoot. Trying to cover a lot of folks here in one read. So the Wheel of Fortune tells us that we're on the way around. Okay, usually uh, I feel like when I draw this card that this is, uh, we're, we're in the beginning of the cycle of the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, if it came toward the end of the reading, it made me feel different. But Wheel of Fortune is a very centralized, kind of non, uh, uh, you know, uh, qualifying uh, signifier. So let's see what challenges this Wheel of Fortune starting to turn here. King of Wands. You know, wands are plans and energy and motion and, and getting things done. And the king is going to be the one who's super in charge of that. So I would say this Wheel of Fortune here is trying to be stopped by some plan, some powerful plan that seems to be in the cog. The basis of this reading then is going to be, whew, the Ten of Swords. You know, Ten of Swords is, is like a dead stop. Uh, it doesn't mean death, but I mean, it means it, this is not going any further. This is, you know, the end of this cycle. And uh, we're going to start something else now. So this all does seem to fit. Um, the basis of this was the impending doom of this end of this uh, Wheel of Fortune somewhere. Okay, so the past to this reading then is the Four of Swords, which is, again, just kind of telling you this is a time to take a break, take a rest, 
move carefully. If you get going too soon, you're going to get stuck by those swords. So the past was caution. Uh, and then in the sky for this reading is, uh, well, the two of cups. So, you know, we've got partnership. It could be love. It could be friendship. It could be a uh, medical situation, getting together with someone uh, who knows what you need. So that's the sky. And that's a pretty good place uh, to aim for in any of those uh, regards. And then the, uh, the likely outcome of this, seven of swords is feeling a little, you know, you know, a little taken advantage of, um, or uh, you could be the one who's trying to get away with something. So, you know, it's not a good place uh, to go for the, with this right now. But let's see what's going on for the self, for the very self of this reading uh, right now. And you know what? I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to spread these out and then pull the cards that way. So let's go. First one. So the self of this reading, wow, <laughs> that's pretty definitive, the high priestess. So completely in charge of what's going on here. Uh, that's what we've got here. Authoritative, knowledgeable, um, very confident. So that's the self that we've got right now. Whether you know it or not, uh, that's what's represented here. Now, the um, environment that this, um, this energy is in is a magician. Couldn't be better because if you've got all the power in the world, then you want to know that you can use any tool you want to to achieve uh, your uh, desired results. So I think that's fantastic. It's a very good environment to be in right now. The hopes and the fears for all of this, let's go way down here, is the Hierophant. You know what? The High Priestess, the only thing that's going to stop her is the Hierophant, I believe. And, of course, Hierophant is, is rules and law and judgment and a government or a, 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 a guiding body. So, um, yeah, the hopes and the fears, I think this would be a fear for this situation that, uh, that somehow the government uh, or the, whoever rules over this issue uh, is going to uh, be standing in the way. But the final outcome, we'll take that from over here, is going to be strength. What else could it be? So, yeah, you have to master your strength. And it's not as hard as you think. If you don't uh, struggle against it, then you can easily tame the beast. So, so that's the sky final outcome for that reading and that was pretty solid so just remember once that wheel of fortune starts going around you know you just have to hang on because the in the end you're in charge as a high priestess as a magician you're going to have all the tools that you need to get this thing done all you have to worry about is following the rules don't uh, and, and be strong because you have it in you get it done you know, I was just thinking about uh, the cards uh, even before I made this video. So this is a little piece that I made ahead of time. But uh, so I wrote down a few things that seem relevant to me right now, and I thought I'd share it with you. So uh, it's, it may sound uh, written, read in, in some cases, but it's uh, but I wrote it. So, um, but it seems to me like these cards work with some energy. Shuffling them just kind of channels that into the selected cards, and then you're drawn to mo what's most relevant uh, to you. And uh, in that moment. And it's your energy. That's what it seems like to me. Um, to find intuitive messages triggered by the cards. And uh, they're as powerful as the traditional uh, meanings. And those are specific to you in this time. Understand that um, you have to understand the present to determine the future. So it's worth uh, thinking about. And uh, the tarot cards don't tell us what's going to happen. We're all, we always have free will. Um, we make choices. We take action towards some desired outcome and uh, just uh, it's often that we're surprised at the outcome that we've set up for ourselves to understand what's going on right now see your path and your challenges and the opportunities and if Tara shows you something that you don't want then change your future it's that simple so an energy reader is just someone with an innate or a trained ability to use some extrasensory uh, perception or clairvoyance or clairsentience or clairaudience or even clear cognizance just towards some message so you know, it's, it's the same thing that we all have. So, I don't know. There it is. Well, I'm Mark. This is My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you so much for coming along. And if you're not doing anything tomorrow, stop by. We'll go somewhere else. But ciao for now.